Welcome to Bitter Coffee. My name is Kelly Coffee. My name is Eric Fanton. And I am Timothy Adam Chang. Oh, that's your middle name? I didn't know that. Yeah. Also known as Angus Thunderbottom, <laughs> if you were to read Thunderbottom the, in the, the, the squadcast. In the chat. <laughs> yeah, learning things about Tim already. First yeah. first moments back on the mm-hmm. microphone. We're already learning more about I was Tim. actually supposed to be at, well, originally, possibly Adam Timothy mm-hmm. Chang. And my mom changed oh. her mind at the last moment. I'm so I'm told. <laughs> urban legend. That's how Allegedly. I <laughs> Supposedly. Supposedly. Partially like true. Oh, say. And they do. Uh, it is so nice to see you both. Likewise. Um, after, I Likewise. I mean, it's been a whole year. Since last I spoke to you, <laughs> yeah. Kirk, Kirk. Um, I'm sure we didn't get enough of that this week. Okay, what's uh, the cutoff for wishing people well. a happy new year? So January 4th. Good I question. Th- that's a fantastic. We really need like an, uh, a worldwide declaration yeah, like on this a, that everybody can like get on law. board with. Yeah. I think it's the fourth feels good. Yeah. I mean, especially, you know, with the first being a Monday, you get m- most of the week. And then by the end of the week, you're, you're done. That's it. It's over. Move yeah. on. Four business days, I think, mm-hmm. in the new year. And then we're, we're on bigger, better things. Mm, business I like days. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> the key, is that you've got to give the people time to make their awful jokes and, and like platitudes related to the new year at work. Mm. That's a key component of it. Because if you don't, mm-hmm. you know, New Year's on a Saturday, you don't talk to anybody until Monday. You know, you've lost a whole two days there. And that's tough. That's tough for everybody to get on board with. There's too many dads. There's too many jokes. That's the, I mean, mm. that's the bottom line. So, sure. Yeah. But I'm, I like the fourth. Let's put that forward. Our um, our worldwide listenership. Okay. Take that under okay. advisement. You get four days. <laughs> so it is written. <laughs> and so it has been said. And so it shall be. I still am not entirely <laughs> sure what day of the week it is. Just to no, be clear. No, no. that okay. goes on. That goes on it's for weeks. Some, uh, some day. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So we had a bit of a little, little snowstorm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Up here in the New England. A bit of an yep. Arctic blast. Yeah. It's uh, it was <laughs> yes. what was it called? Was it it was uh, winter storm ember? Ember, yeah. ember? yes, it burns beneath Ooh. the surface. Winter storm yeah. ember, uh huh. Winter storm yeah. amber would have been I a lot better, but I'm just <laughs> throwing in my two cents. Um, they've already got a whole alert and it's a whole thing, you don't want to cross the streams there. I feel I don't know what you're saying. I don't know. The Amber Alert. <laughs> oh, the Amber, Amber's okay. got their own alert. Right, you can't okay. have Amber and the See, alert right. and I'm storm. I'm not oriented to time. Stay in your lane, alerts. Or humor. So, I got, the, I got nothing. The blank faces on that joke. We're still getting used to things. We're getting back yep. up to speed, everybody. Yep. Bear with us. Ooh, Tim got a meal delivery. Whoa. Uh, so, that's going to add an interesting wrinkle. What's, what's on the menu tonight, my friend? <laughs> uh, well... It is supposed to be some sort of cheesy stuffed meatloaf with potatoes and onions and mm, pepper. Okay. It looks them. wonderful in the picture on the every plate ep- uh, mm-hmm. recipe. Mm. Which my wife um, refers to as after. But it only bite. took an hour and a half. <laughs> yes. Afterbite. Michelle calls mm-hmm. it after bite. I like it, a lot. So. Yeah. it took an hour and a half, you said? Yeah. <laughs> Just about. It's 725. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I started at about six. I don't have time for that particular plate in the any plate atmosphere. Well, here's That's the thing. Too long. This is what this is the thing. Okay. Uh-huh. Every plate always says how much prep time and how much cook time there is. Sure. Yeah. As a baseline, that's bullshit. Yeah. It's never that. Assume not that. They okay. assume that you are some sort of Michelin star chef. <laughs> sure. And aren't constantly in the risk of going to the emergency room, which right. I am as a, also as a baseline. Cuts I'm never, I am sure. moments away from an ER or urgent care trip at any point in my day. Uh-huh. Food or so otherwise. What ha- happened was, okay. Is I came home, Megan had to go run out and get something. So I was like, I'll start the dinner. It's in every plate. How hard could it be? This is the thought that always goes through my head. Sure. It's a list of recipes. They give you exactly what you need. It Mm -hmm. shouldn't be that hard. And yet, (laughs) I struggle mightily every time I need to make one of these. And I think it's the structure around it. You know, I'm jazzy. You know, I'm loose shoulders. I'm jazzy. I'm like, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit Uh of slice. Maybe it's my finger. Maybe it's an onion. Give him a little little, little shrinkle shrinkle. 
<laughs> get them yeah. a little, get a little loose. Soft shoe, sure. sure. Yeah. You know? Am I gonna use that? Man, man, Trust both me, you both all man. wish this. You all wish this was a video <laughs> podcast right now yeah, with the really gesticulations know. that are Listen, happening. Listen, when when you say the word loosey goosey to another <laughs> human being, they automatically do that little shoulder wave in their head. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we're talking yeah, about yeah, the no. wacky inflatable arm yeah. tube right. man. You get it. Right. You know what we're doing. Yeah. So so I was like, I can handle it. It's just meat and potatoes. I have that lane. So always the first step on an every plate, if you have to put something in the oven, is set the oven to whatever and then go do between four and 75 mm-hmm. steps. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> right. Sure. So I turned on the oven and I went to go begin step one of 74. And I'm dicing and I'm slicing and I'm seasoning and I'm like, how much is a tablespoon? How much is a teaspoon? I got to measure this bullshit because there's only so much of it. I can't overshoot it because then there's not enough for step 65 later on. Right. You, it, right? At first you it says read all instructions, which you're not going to do. So I'm you're just going to start ripping at it. I got it. No. I get you. No, nope. yeah. it's like a picture book. You know, <laughs> what are the words? There's no words here. Just show me the pictures. So I started doing my thing and then all of a sudden I'm sort of like, Oh, maybe there's something stuck to the bottom of the oven because it's sort of like a little Mm -hmm. smoky. Uh Sure. Right. Spoiler alert. I made bacon this weekend. (laughs) Okay. Hot pan, full counter, left it in the oven. Uh, (laughs) Oh, no. No longer existed. So I'm now cooking a uh, empty cookie sheet of bacon fat at 425 (laughs) degrees for about 15 minutes at this point. (laughs) Sure. And the whole house begin to fill with smoke. Just so trying panic, to season the oven with essence of bacon. Right. <laughs> Just wanted to like reinvigorate it, you know? <laughs> sure. Like a candle warmer, except for bacon fat. I like where this is going. <laughs> yeah, I like where this is headed. Yeah, yeah. keep it coming. So, I panic. Megan's on the phone. I'm like, oh shit. Uh, <laughs> was she, oh, like, boy, like, was she calling the- someone? Like, Yeah, she was having a very in depth conversation oh, with her I sister. I thought you meant in response to was- the bacon fire. <laughs> no, not <laughs> yet. We have a bacon oven okay. bacon emergency. Yeah. So she's trying to have a conversation, which is literally five feet away from me. And I'm yeah. like, oh, God. Ah, oh, oh, boy. Eclectic, sure. and it's, you know, Arctic chill outside. But I'm opening the windows, right? <laughs> and opening the back door because I've now taken the pan out and been like, well, what the fuck am I going to do with this smoking <laughs> ass tray of bacon grease from several days ago and told repeatedly not to pour this down the drain because it don't will pour down the drain pipes. it's a whole thing yep sure it was like it was one of those moments you know what i'm talking about like in that moment i was like i don't have anywhere to put this i'm just gonna put it back in the oven i'll come back to it later <laughs> and reality voice in the back of my head said no you're fucking not you know you're not but good try good effort and i did it good anyway game. yeah um Right. So then I put the pan outside, open the door, open the window. Megan turns on the ceiling fan. We're all trying to like get the bacon smoke out. Meanwhile, still trying to cook dinner. So I continue about my preparation. I'm taking meat and I'm smashing it with soaked wet bread and I'm jamming <laughs> cheese in there and seasoning and I'm making Boy. meat loaves and wow. trying to like, you know, dice up peppers and onions. So I'm on step like, I don't know, 152 at this point. <laughs> sure. Put everything in the oven and I'm sitting there and I'm waiting and then I'm looking at the clock. I'm like, I'm going to get on with Derek and Kelly soon, but like, hopefully I can like get this thing all done. And I'm looking at it and I'm looking at it, opened up the oven. And I was like, what is going on here? Important step. <laughs> when I realized that I was cooking a tray of bacon fat, I turned the oven off. off. Sure you did. Yeah. So I've now been cooking some kind of fool. red meat at about 215 <laughs> degrees for over a half an hour to 40 minutes. <laughs> You're making jerky suddenly. Yeah. <laughs> Basic, do, slow and low, you know? Why rush it? Yeah, Why rush night. it? We're not in a time. Have all night. night. I'm not starving or anything. So it's, we'll wait, you know? Unfortunately, yeah, we'll I was starving. It's and, another um, month. <laughs> <laughs> so an hour and a half later, the every plate has been delivered. Wow. And I'm looking at it with just the stain. I don't even know if I can eat it. Yeah. I'm just <laughs> the, like, fuck the spite you. spite is too strong. It is not my fault. It's your, you did this to us. Every <laughs> plate. Son of a bitch. Is that a five-string bass behind you, Tim? I've been trying to figure it out. It sure is a five-string bass. That is the rock machine from which all the riffs come. The entire story, because you you lost me for a little while. (laughs) Kelly was only focused on the bass. Did you see me? I was trying to count with my my pen. Um, (laughs) I realized that. Pointing at there is five strings okay. definitely only using okay. three. <laughs> the other two are 
for show. Yep. Superfluous. Yep. Superfluous yeah. strings. What am I? What am I over here? Just well, no, I'm going. <laughs> dun, 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 uh, uh, dun, 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 uh, and, uh, uh. You know, you don't need more than three strings. For those for of you who don't play bass, uh, yeah. that was bass. So was bass. I hope you enjoyed it. So, well, any Tim, questions? If, if nothing else, you get to look forward to the fact that your home will now smell of bacon. Um, no, it just smells like burnt. Future? Oh, just burning. Mm, okay. No, it just smells like well, burnt. Um, guess so. your glass is F, F, all the way empty. That's fine. <laughs> Welcome to 2024. Not half full or even quarter. Welcome to 2024. Yeah. Happy New Year. New house, new burning. New, new year, new burning smell. That's where we're at. Um, is anybody doing resolutions <laughs> anyway. this year? Mm, yes. Well, it wasn't a, it wasn't a resolution. Um, Megan and I decided we were going to do dry January. Okay. Oh. Because we really cranked it up during okay. the holidays. Sure. So many of us do. Uh, dry January is over. That lasted well, five days. you know days. what? You have to pace yourself. And <laughs> <laughs> Do I get a yeah. do-over? Do you get to be like, ah, that one didn't we count. We already decided that you can't say Happy New Year after four days. Yeah, then you went to the Happy New Year period right. in dry January. January. And it's it's fine. Fine. It's fine. the guidelines. No, you're saying you. That's that's fine. That's totally fine. Um, I'm not. I don't believe I'm doing any resolutions. I resolve to like try and take get better care of myself every year, and then I don't. And so I don't say it anymore. I just kind of like maybe this is the year, and then yeah, but right around now, it's like you're probably con- not. You're consistent. You, Kelly, is there something on the something on the um, list? Well, it's not my New Year's resolution, um, but I read something, and I can't remember. If I talked to you guys about it when we last potted. Um, well, that was like right, decades ago. Right. So um, <laughs> we won't remember yeah. anyway. Well, tell us, you tell know, us new. Is since it, we were last new, potted, um, women can now vote. So that's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Um, Wait, really? <laughs> Did you hear? They got flying yep. carriages these days. It's wild. <laughs> they got moving pictures with the sound now. <laughs> <laughs> this just in. People. Can I go travel intercontinentally? It's amazing. <laughs> so, um, in the seventies, um, Vogue magazine published the the egg and wine diet. Have we talked about this? Oh no, I don't think so. so uh, Again, I don't remember. So well, let's assume we we're didn't. about to go through it now. <laughs> the egg and yeah, wine diet. You do this, this for is, thirty days. It's fine. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> is, is it? it? <laughs> well, are you we're, sure? We're, let's. You know, let's talk about that when I give you the details of this. Okay, I can't wait. Because I'm on board. I mean, it doesn't have as many twists and turns as your meatloaf story, Tim, but... That's okay. There's too many. Bear with me. Um, so breakfast, uh, one egg, hard-boiled, uh, black black okay. coffee, uh, one glass of white sure. wine, preferably Chablis. <laughs> that's, that's breakfast. Love a good Plus. breakfast wine. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Two eggs. Hard boiled is best, but poached if necessary. Two glasses of white wine, <laughs> black coffee. Question: What makes it necessary to poach an egg? Tim and I are on the I same page. I mean, are you, <laughs> when are you putting an egg in a pot? And you're going, I. You know what? At the moment, mm-hmm. I feel it's necessary. Well, this was the '70s. It was a very, very different time. Of time. Yeah, I don't have hard boiled time. I only got right. poached time. It's, <laughs> it was a turbulent time in the '70s. The world was really, yeah, not sure. Not not as peaceful as it is these days. And then for dinner, you can have a five ounce steak um, oh, grilled with black okay. pepper, lemon juice, remainder of the white wine, one bottle allowed per day, <laughs> and a cup of black coffee. That's it. That's the wine I don't and like egg the, diet. the cooking directives on my steak. I would like you to keep your keep your directions about how to cook the steak. I'll put pepper or whatever mm-hmm. else I want on it. Mm-hmm. Thanks very much. Um, also, I was sold a bill of goods that this was an egg and wine diet, and all of a sudden, steak showed up. Well, I mean, that's... And then I was given a limit on the wine? I don't... Like, come on. Well, I mean, it's not so much of a of a limit as more of a an allowance. It's the way I look at it. I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. a so. I like it. That's a good Is that spin. what allows you to call it a diet? <laughs> because <laughs> there's like a threshold? Yeah. It's like, I'm yeah, only yeah. allowed yeah. this much. I'm only allowed bottle of wine mm-hmm. per day therefore uh sacrifices and then they, they throw a steak way. in there you know what i mean that yeah. was you know <laughs> and if it was the 70s you get half a bottle mm-hmm. if you're pregnant mm-hmm. 
Well, in the seventies, right? They had to carve everything into tablets. They had to <laughs> carve it into tablets, and so they didn't want to have like the wine and mm-hmm. egg and steak mm-hmm. diet. They were like, "That's too many letters. That's gonna take yeah. forever. Surprise! Why don't we just you can have a steak. just the wine and egg diet?" Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um, I'm not saying that. That's- are you saying that's what no, you're resolving to? That's that's you, are you getting no, into that, Kelly? Uh, no, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going so far? <laughs> it's going pretty well. <laughs> hey, is that, uh, hey. Model? Oh, is that preferably a shot? Is that preferably a shot? Uh, it's, it's a Pinot yeah. Grigio. It was it was okay. necessary. Mm. So. If necessary, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Poached an egg and got a Pinot and Grigio. Michelle will make fun of me because I will pour myself a glass of wine and it sits for like four and a half hours sometimes. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's why you got exactly. the ice cubes in it, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you they, know yourself. Exactly. Know thyself, Kelly. Yeah. Um, Poach and Pino like, only if necessary. Only if necessary. <laughs> um, so we got about a little over a foot of snow. So it was oh, exciting shit. because wow. since oh, I wow. uh, since I moved to the seacoast, we have not had any snow. Oh None. my gosh! Wow! Uh, mm-hmm. Damn, that's mm-hmm. crazy. So I was sure. a maniac for this snow mm. for like a week. What is what does snow maniac Kelly look um, like? She's what unhinged. She <laughs> I said snow me. Right, yeah, she's yeah. more on hinge. Oh, okay, okay. Um, she will volunteer to um, help her wife shovel the driveway and then immediately mm. just shut down emotionally. Sure. Sure. And then go back in the right. house. Yeah. I was going to say, are we going to define help I mean, at some point? I, I helped, but I felt like, it, it, yeah, it wasn't good. I, I should send you guys the the recording I have on our ring camera. Okay. Uh-huh. Because it's me just like basically talking to myself, <laughs> like more or less mumbling. I don't even know what I was saying half the time. And then I, I came in the house and I said to Michelle, that, I feel like I was a little, a little unhinged out there. And that's that's a bear trap. <laughs> she can't say yes. She can't say no. Right. And I said, I said, I'm sorry. Right. I don't yeah. think it was ready. Right. I don't think it was ready for it to be that cold outside because it was really windy. <laughs> mm, and sure. the anticipation yeah, sure. of the snow Wind chill factor really, really got me more excited than the actual snow. Well, it went from being a hobby to being work, yeah. which yeah. is yeah. Good. I think right. the conversation right. started Watching with, now, why don't we have a plow person this year? <laughs> you know, just right out of the gate, just super confrontational. Right. Right. Like, as of course. we're shoveling. I'm just imagining on the ring camera, Kelly's walking out there. She's got, like, the shovel in one hand and is just sort of, like, looking at the ground, dragging <laughs> it behind her, waddling <laughs> yep. out there, just like, if I don't go yep. faster, maybe someone mm-hmm. else will take maybe care of me. Will maybe this will be done by the time mm-hmm. I get out maybe here. Maybe someone will come if I yeah. take long enough. And then once I get into it, I was fine. But it was, it was, it was kind of tough going. Sure. And then by the time I get into it, it was over. Um, so that was that. And then I would love to see the ring footage of your of your efforts yeah. here. I'd like to time lapse it and then compare your cleared driveway area to Michelle's clear driveway yeah. area and just sort of contrast yeah. and compare <laughs> workload. Um Kelly's walking out there and just a little ghost head of Ron appears <laughs> just floating over her shoulder. I didn't tell you guys, we have a ghost in the house. You have a haunted Ooh. Seacoast house? Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do. Um, it just oh. started. Well, now it's officially yes, it haunted. Is. So it, made it started the ghost when down. Michelle was here doing the renovations with the contractors, but she didn't really mm-hmm. feel the need to share a lot of information with me. And mm, I. Because you'd already purchased hard. the home and we're going to have yeah, to move into it. Exactly. Right. And, you know, yeah. with any kind uh-huh. of, you know, spirits, I'm really on a need to know basis. Everybody. Unless it's a peanut. Mm. Oh, sure. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Nice. Uh, anyway. Thanks. So, um, the dryer turned on one night at two o'clock in the morning. Oh, oh God. Oh. Was there what? anything in it? Just spirits. Yep. Spirits. <laughs> yep. just, just tumbling yep. around. Um, <laughs> uh, there's a light behind me on this light behind me mm-hmm. yep. um, that might just uh-huh. turn off for no apparent reason. Mm-hmm. Oh. And then, and then, Is it a and smart turn back on? Nope. Or no? No, oh, then it'll turn okay. back on. 
Does it do it in some discernible pattern that might spell a word no, or something like that? No, that no, 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 we'll keep an eye on not, it. Not that I'm aware of. Things, yeah. situation. Like Morse code nice. kind of thing, no. And then there was something else. Right. Are you happened. taking any action? Is there I mean, anything I happening? I some sage you, and I complained about it I was going to say, is there a lot of smudging going on? <laughs> I was complaining about it, I yeah. think, definitely. And she has a name. Her name is Joyce. Oh. Yeah, Joyce. that's I the sure. woman who used to All live right. here, and we think died here. Um, oh, interesting. <laughs> What's the evidence to suggest? Did you find her in there no, when you came in? No, nope. the neighbors were a little bit tight-lipped oh. when I asked how long oh. she had been here before she went to a why, hospital why or whatever. Why no doesn't know. live there anymore? I don't, I don't really yeah. know. Yeah, th- it's the same woman who knows like exactly what time I leave for work. What time to come home? The first is we get all the things. I don't. Yeah, I don't really know. But doesn't know about yeah, Joyce, an eighty-year-old housebound woman. She has no knowledge. <laughs> How would you classify her vacancy of the home? Would you call it willing? Right. Mm. I, would, I would argue no. It's like, oh, based we don't on the know fact that she's still Joyce. here. Um, you know, I've tried some, sure. some, some, some harsh tones, asking <laughs> Joyce oh. to leave. Joyce. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Joyce didn't really work. <laughs> Joyce seems like the kind of ghost who just could just be like, "Yeah, what do you want?" Yeah, yeah. Like, right. Sort of like like Terry Ferguson from um, <laughs> like Burt Reynolds characters, mm-hmm. you know? Sure. From Celebrity Jeopardy. What do you do for you? Just, yeah. What do you want? And she's always like wiping yeah, her hands on an apron or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she just came from something yeah. at all times. Yeah. She's like, always, yeah. What? Right. What can yeah. I get you? What do you Dish need? Dish towel over mm-hmm. the shoulder. Just yep. like what? What do you want? Um. Busy. You don't experience any squeaky floors, do you? No. However, we did experience um, something rolling underneath the floor upstairs slash the ceiling downstairs. And it sounded like Mm. an acorn. Okay. First, I thought it was a squirrel. I mean, sure. But squirrels don't turn on lights and dryers. Not that I'm aware of. It's true. Also true. Um, And there was a, a couple of months between the acorn incident and the dryer incident. So Goodness I'm gracious. thinking my theory is um, that she doesn't like Christmas. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's anti holiday. Yeah, the tree up, I things see. kicked up. I so see. you know what, Joyce? My birthday's in February. So settle in, sweetheart, because it ain't stopping until May. <laughs> <laughs> Get that tree out of my home. <laughs> you marauding lesbians. Get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, ladies. Joyce here. I just was hoping <laughs> you With could your poached to eggs and your pinot greasy house. I saw you outside yesterday trying to shovel the driveway. That's how I broke my hip in 72. I ended up housebound because of that driveway. I try to tell you through the lights. <laughs> The house in which I died. I don't know when Joyce became an old man Hammond from Family well, Guy, but that's okay. If you, <laughs> if you could even tell how much I was trying to hit that whistle, uh, you're usually quite good there, with right? that whistle. Yeah. You're pretty on point. Hi, lady. Why don't you take a sip of water? Eat. See if it works. Do you have a sip of water? <laughs> Hang on, let me just get a nice hair. I wish that you wouldn't come into my house. Try to play around with my frictions. <laughs> you tore out that whole bathroom and I had it just the way I liked it. I used to take my sponge baths with my red wine and my skitty sauce in there. <laughs> but now all is it is pino. <laughs> Unacceptable, ladies! I expected better of my... <laughs> Of the folks living in my domicile. <laughs> my domicile. <laughs> my domicile. I'm going to start moving diving parts around. <laughs> <laughs> That's me and the guest of you. That, that enormous chest of drawers is really hurting the floorboards. <laughs> now she just is the house. Like she just now is, she is the, the house. She is okay. the house. No, she right, is right. the house. She's not haunting okay. it. She is it. No, she yeah. is the house. Yeah. <laughs> Joyce, the ghost who so, was the house. I'm going to write that. Oh, she's play. probably gone now. I think if we just continue to like openly mock her, forget an exorcism. This we'll house just mock. is mm-hmm. clean. 
<laughs> ghosts are bad. Yeah, you know what? Ghosts hate yeah, ridicule. They do. That's yeah, really what they do. They drive them away. It's yeah. being made sport up. They don't like being mm-hmm. bullied, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, well, fine. I'll go out here and haunt somebody else's <laughs> house. Just me and all these Amazon packages <laughs> out here by myself. See what you're doing out there, Kelly. I'm a teller. I'm going to tell Michelle what you're doing. Don't uh. think I won't. I'll spell it out with the knife. <laughs> so what's up with you, Derek? <laughs> Tim invited me to a concert next summer. It's all I'm looking oh. forward to. Like that's, that's right. the whole. That's right. That's what I got going on. Mm-hmm. Really, yeah. We're gonna go see AJR at the TD Garden. A lot of, you don't a lot know of letters. Are. Yeah, it's, it's just, a lot of letters. It's uh it's three brothers. The important thing is that Tim Tim is the best uncle. That's ultimately yeah. that's ultimately that's right. what this is about. Because <laughs> uh, friend of the show, unwillingly, Simon got a got a lovely gift from Tim of some concert tickets to go to that go to that show next year. And Tim thought. You know what? Derek might enjoy this show. And that's okay. right. So I'm going to go to right. It's going to be great. Yeah. I don't know if the rest of the Chang relation knows that I'm going to be there, but they do. Uh, okay, cool. And they were cool. like, oh, I know, I'm sure. I mean, I guess but he's whatever. It's fine. Are the tickets together? <laughs> no, no, I got Derek his own. Yeah, no, that, that's, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's right in the middle of a row, too. So. You know. Because nothing, there is nothing Derek enjoys more than being surrounded by strangers and large <laughs> amounts of strangers. It's really that's, large amounts of strangers yeah. in a city I don't enjoy traveling yeah. into. Yes, <laughs> that's, that's that where I want to be. Actively have a panic attack. Yeah, or as Tim, close to. You mentioned we were going to the show. He didn't say we were going on the same night. Uh, and fair. so that's that's the key. Very fair. They are playing two shows in Boston. I think I'm missing the show right now. And then they're going to yeah. go to the one at the mm-hmm. end of the month. Okay. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's exciting. That's, that's, that was, that was a big deal. Okay. That was cool. And then I had a good, had a good Christmas. Um, it was like action packed in terms of things, which it always is, but that was good. Mm. Yeah. Go life's ahead. good. Life is fine. I'm exhausted at all times. And I was mentioning this to someone the other day that I don't, I think we're in this weird, like just, place of everyone is tired like i used to think it was like an old thing like oh i'm getting older so i'm just tired all the time i look at my colleagues who are like in their early to mid 20s and they also seem just exhausted all the time like what could you possibly have going on See, i think that makes you I think so that's tired their baseline they they complain a lot yeah i mean i complain yeah, a lot but too I, yeah but sure. we're funny so we're allowed to do that <laughs> <laughs> i want to work 40 hours Ugh. Mm, Ooh, sure. Okay, we've just been uh-huh. doing it for yeah. decades, but that's cool. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> I had someone tell me that there that a, a, a significant other of theirs was overwhelmed because they work, and I quote, almost forty hours oh a week at their like, job. If they're like a brain mm. surgeon, yes, absolutely. Sure. Or they like yes. wrestle cattle. Sure. Right? <laughs> or, uh, you could have gone so many places with that, and I would have been you. All right, cattle? but I was sure. thirty-eight yeah. at cattle wrestling, and I yeah. tell you, killing Ooh. me. I got two more hours of this bullshit this week. Quite literally. Yeah. <laughs> what do they, What do they do for a living? Um, they they work at a restaurant. They like they like bartending wait tables. Okay. For near, I again, I repeat, for nearly forty hours a every week. Every week. Every week. Yeah, well, almost every week. Some weeks In they work fairness, 20 hours. That is a lot of dealing with people. Well, that's true. That is true. They do have to the deal with a lot more strangers public. than I do. Not just like yeah. your colleagues. Like yeah. the public. Yeah. I maintain, I might have gone on this rant before yeah. <laughs> here, but here it comes anyway. <laughs> I maintain that every citizens of this great country should work in retail. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At some point in their life, it should Absolutely. be like mandatory military yeah. service. I fully Absolutely. agree. 100% agree. <laughs> you yeah. need to do six months in a retail or restaurant setting, and I feel like everyone would be so much nicer to each other. You have been drafted to Arby's. Yeah, I, right. I feel like exactly. that's- you get a choice. Yeah, yeah, you don't get yeah. to choose. I worked for um <laughs> the the Gap for five years. Ooh, yeah, Abercrombie and Fitch clothing for two. retail is a is a special. A special situation as well. I, I put in my time at grocery stores and at a record store, and I feel like I made out yeah. really well. Like I, mm. my my allocation was pretty low, low impact. Whereas my wife was at Eddie Bauer and Yankee Candle and clothing in particular. 
Yeah. Clothing retail is a special level of abject you, chaos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And disrespect. <laughs> incredible, combined. incredible props to everyone who I'm deals with that. I'm still really good at folding day. t-shirts, though. Same. <laughs> right, even without the board. I, I don't even need the folding board anymore. I'll just raw dog it. Yeah. Folding board. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Clean it up. You need just a out folding here. board. Raw dog yep, and t-shirts. Just, that's it. Just, just raw yep, dog just folding, baby. back in some teas, right? <laughs> I think that means something else, but know. we're going to move on. We're going to move um, on. So there's something that I, I mentioned to uh, you two gentlemen the other day, which is arguably mm-hmm. what prompted this podcast. <laughs> um, I hope this is what I think it is, because I am uh, it, really enjoying the fact that this is what got us so back. So I learned, I learned yeah, a, a sure. lot in a short span of time when I started doing a little bit of research um, Mm -hmm. about this incident. So college football teams don't have, as far as I know, they might, but who cares? They don't have like, like a Super Bowl. Excuse me. So what they do have is like, they have like a Rose Bowl and uh, an Orange Bowl and a Sugar Bowl and, you know, whatever, all the bowls. They have all the bowls. Recently, (laughs) other food companies like Nabisco, which... Side mm-hmm. note, I figured out when I was half asleep several months ago that, that short, that's short hmm. for National Biscuit Company. And I looked it up and I was right. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Tim and I just exhibited the blown mind emoji. <laughs> 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 yeah, You're welcome. exactly. You're wow. welcome. Okay. I, yeah, good for them. And <laughs> different... Um, food companies like Nabisco or whoever makes who makes Cheez Its? Is it Nabisco? Mm. Let's just say it is. Okay. Yes, let's say it Derek, is. Derek, you're on the Google machine. Is that correct? <laughs> I am. I am indeed. Oh, and they have their own bowl <laughs> as well. It's, it's called the Cheez It Bowl. <laughs> Cheez It Citrus mm-hmm. Bowl. Cheez It is a brand of also cheese cracker manufactured by Kellanova mm. through its Sunshine Biscuits division. Mm. Sun Bisco. This sounds like That's a lie. A lie. Jeez, <laughs> this sounds, like a lie. This sounds yeah. made up. This sounds like a shell yep. corporation yep. set up by Nabisco to me. So Keep anyway, going. Uh, so then other food companies started getting on the bandwagon. And mm-hmm. one of the companies who said, hey, let's get in on this college football action was the Pop-Tart Company. And Derek, <laughs> this might hit a little bit close home to you. So Trigger warning, Uh okay? Trigger warning. All right. So the Pop-Tart Bowl was Kansas State and North Carolina State colleges, and they were competing in the Pop-Tarts Bowl. Oh, I don't know if it's plural (laughs) or singular. I don't know. Let's call it the Pop-Tarts Bowl because that just has like a nice ring ring to it. So they're playing the game, and there's a winner. Sure. So during the game, the mascot – is at the Pop Tarts Bowl is a giant Pop Tart, which makes a ton of sure, sense. Of course, of and it's like just a Pop Tart, sure. like not wearing any pants. You know what I mean? Like a little weird looking. <laughs> so he or she or they, they, they're dancing around. At the end of the game, the Pop Tart climbs to uh, the top of a stage that kind of appears out of nowhere, uh-huh. holds up a sure. sign, a handwritten sign that says, Dreams really do come true. And then the pop tart <laughs> is lowered into the toaster. The stage turns out giant toaster is what they they were and saying. And then on. Yep. Mm-hmm. it's spit out. Doesn't pop back out of the toaster. <laughs> it's spit out of the bottom of a toaster, which has now become an it's oven. Like a tray into yeah, a giant uh-huh. cake, which the winning team proceeds to grab pieces up and throw it into the crowd in celebration and eat by the fistful. Uh, Kelly shared a link where you can subject yourself to the video mm-hmm. of this uh, performance. It is a disturbing situation it's, it's not good. in which the thing, the, the, you know, not to be disrespectful, the pop tart was dancing around and, and doing its various mascot type of duties all game. Of game thinking, look, I, I've arrived. There's a football event named after me. <laughs> but, but what an incredible macabre, Paul to cast over this when you discover that all they wanted thanks to the dreams do come Mm -hmm. true Mm -hmm. sign was apparently to be cooked and consumed and now admittedly who hasn't been there but I'm saying like that's a weird situation 
dropped at a football game. Tim, I don't know if Tim is currently watching this in replay, but he is watching making a face. No, I've okay. seen it. I am reading a interview with Julie Bowerman, chief marketing officer at Pop Tarts parent Kelanova, who spoke to the Wall Street Journal. Wait, yeah. does Kelanova makes Pop Tarts too? Not just cheese? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They used wow. to be Kellogg's, and okay. then they became Kelanova for some game. reason. Ah, that makes way more sense. Reading okay. Reading an interview. Back when George um, was alive, they were something back Kellogg. That is. Back in Georgia's day, they were just called Kellogg's. When I was, you had a grasshopper pop tarts, and they thought Kellogg's. <laughs> They're like little tiny cakes for your hands. You can eat them raw, or you can cook them. Uh, are they raw? <laughs> are they just cold. <laughs> Room temp. Raw. I pop them shits out of the sleeve and just oh, take exactly. it out. Yeah. Yeah. T-shirts and pop tarts here at yeah. the Bitter Coffee yep. Podcast. When I take a break from my egg and wine <laughs> diet. I like to whip in a pop tart mm-hmm. every Instead once in a while. Instead of the steak. <laughs> Take down a pop tart. No allowance in the egg and wine diet for pop tarts. Yeah, it was a disturbing scene there, uh, and like it, there was so. If they had just been eating the cake that was the mascot, I got you know, it, it, watch the video. But if they'd just been eating it, it would have been one thing. But to Kelly's point, they were like taking like full handfuls and like joyfully tossing it over their shoulders, like into a crowd of yeah. people. Sports it, enthusiasts. Uh, yeah. It is definitely one of the most American things you could possibly see on television. Like, we're going to take this food thing, turn it from a human into food. Right. And we're also going to just And then we're going to waste all that food. Yeah, exactly. So, Strawberry, that's the Pop-Tart's name. Strawberry goes into the toaster and both of their eyes are open. And then if anybody wants to watch the video, when the cake comes out, one of his eyes is shut like a Google eye or something. I don't really know. I'd like to read you a, an excerpt from Julie Bowerman. I would like nothing more. Thank you. Where Wall Street Journal is basically like, what the fuck mm-hmm. was that? We can't write what the fuck, but you know mm-hmm. what we yeah. mean. It's like, and like trying to be nice about it. And like, well, you know, you want it to be funny, but like, wasn't that a little weird? And Julie says, one, comma, we listen to our consumers. So a lot of what we know about our consumer, particularly the Pop-Tart fan. Derek, looking at you, my friend. <laughs> I mean, admittedly, I feel like I'm being profiled right now. Guilty um, is they exemplify what that mascot stands for. Suicide, <laughs> <laughs> right? It has this kind. It has this kind of crazy fun. A little bit bold. A little bit irreverent, but not too much over the line. It really comes from hearing and understanding our consumers and designing accordingly. All right. I don't want to get all marketing communications manager on you here. However, um, first of all, (laughs) you do not strap in. Nobody stands for things there. Nobody, (laughs) nobody, no pop tart has ever stood for what something exemplifies. So right off the rip, like, Ba- bad well, PR. Bad I think clubs. I would argue that like, the, the no egg good. and wine diet really stands for what it actually is. I mean, and the people who participate in it likely do exemplify mm-hmm. what it stands for. It was in for. Vogue magazine. I'm with yeah. you there. But no Pop Tart, <laughs> no people, fans of I speak both as a comms manager and on behalf of the Pop Tart loving okay. community, <laughs> is that I do not believe this advertising campaign <laughs> exemplified what I stand for. Your bravery okay? is I, I really want to object to that. Wow. Um, and I think that that is ludicrous. And I don't mean the rapper, just the adjective. Okay. I think it's ridiculous. And I think that that campaign was ill-advised. And I do also think that like they had to know. Like they had to know that people oh, yeah, were asking these yeah. questions. Julie basically says that. <laughs> that's the response. Yeah. That was the what I assume was likely an emailed reply. Yeah. Like, <laughs> really? That's the best. My favorite we're part do? is after that, the Wall Street Journal person, who I'm going to assume is Joyce, um, <laughs> says, "Tell me more about these toast pastries." <laughs> this does fit into a sort of very wait. This does fit into a sort of very online humor mm. associated with younger consumers. Is that who you were going after with this? Like, them dang old rap scallions <laughs> think that must be funny. Dang old pop tart man went down and came out as cake and we was like, you think it's funny? I suppose you must have posted this campaign on MySpace as well. Did you yeah. post it on the Face Spaces? Is this not gonna turn into a meme? 
<laughs> Do I have to save it as a JPEG or a GIF? That's going to make a very funny meme Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I had a funny memo. Now I just made one myself with Optar Man. Her name was Joyce. Uh, that Joyce is the Pop Tart. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, it there goes Pop Tart Joyce. Sort of fit with like a younger market. It, like, way to grasp for straws, Wall Street Journal. Yeah. Way to really yeah. try to get uh, Kellanova uh, a better shine in your article. But I have terrible news. It did yeah. not work. It didn't work. It, the thing reads like a bunch of doorknobs being thrown down the fucking steel stairwell. What if we took this bag of Scrabble tiles and just poured yeah. it out on the table here? Uh, you read what you will out of that. Um, I will say that Kelly sent Kelly sent that to Tim and I and was like, if this is not enough of a reason for us mm-hmm. to get back on the microphone, I don't know what yeah. it's going to take. And lo and behold, here he was are. right. Because mm-hmm. what the fuck is all of that? Um, highly recommend everybody watch the video and then try and unsee it is this tough <laughs> this tough yeah i just think like what's crazy is the amount of money that that cost <laughs> oh god like, yeah not only just to do i mean right. the salaries of the people that came sure. up with such an idea yeah. and like that all happened mm-hmm. and then like i imagine it's like uh it's like like the situation room you know <laughs> like they're all sitting around the table waiting for the thing to finish Yep. And then he slides out, and the guy walks over and grabs a big piece of it and shoves it in the mouth. And they're like, "Fucking nail yeah. it!" <laughs> Fucking just as we drew it up. Yeah. Um. All I can think of is that they were like, "We're gonna sponsor a bowl game, and it's gonna be called the Pop Tarts Bowl." And there were a lot of machinations that had to that had to happen to make that possible, that part of it possible. And then at some point, someone was like, "Oh, and also, we're gonna need a mascot." and you're going to need to like do something with the mascot. Right. And so they spent eight months figuring out how they were going to sponsor a bowl game. And then they spent eight hours figuring out like, what they were like going to do about this whole mascot of. situation. Yeah. Like morning. Right. Of. What are we going to do with this pop like, chart? Well, we can make a toaster out of something. We could lower them down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, what do you do with a pop tart? I don't know. I've never had a pop tart. Isn't that for the youths? Ah, I've got it. The youths love it when you cook a pop tart, and that's like a personified uh-huh. thing, and you cook it and then and you, you eat throw it. it into the kids, a crowd. the youths, the youths, they love the that. But hey, everybody's thinking it. Here we are talking about the damn old pop tart. So we can shit talk all we want, but apparently they all win. Coverage is good coverage. Yeah. They uh, always do. Because so many more people are going to watch that performance. Foiled than by Kelanova again. <laughs> Damn you, Kelanova. <laughs> First it was with the extra toasty Cheez-Its, and now this. Like, how do you top that, though? Right? See, this is what I would do. Like, next year, <sighs> I would do, like, a, I'd have two pop- Pop-Tarts, and then one would, like, pull off part of the icing on one of the other Pop-Tarts, mm. like a like a Janet Jackson, Justin Timberlake thing. <laughs> like a Pop-Tart yeah. Nipplegate? I think this is you you're know, onto something just, here. You did I, I say tube nipple-gate. top. Did you say tube top pop tarts, or did you say like two tops? Like I, I thought I heard tube top, and then you were you were going exactly where I thought you were, which I was like, great work. Two, two tops doesn't work. There's yeah, gotta be a bottom. Always got, especially with pop tarts. <laughs> um, I don't. Can you imagine if someone was like, "What kind of pop tarts do you prefer?" And you were like, "Bottoms." Aggressive. <laughs> Bottom tart. Thank you. Listen, if Twix can have left and right, top pop tarts can have top yeah. and bottom. Uh, listen, we're onto something here. Get Kellanova yeah. on the phone. What's that woman's name? I'm sure she's looking for work. So, <laughs> yeah, she's, she's not no. there anymore. So she's not going to be I able to contact her. Emails are bouncing back. She's back to her <laughs> Yahoo account now. Um, I don't think I said tube top. I don't think I said tube top. I don't think I've ever said tube top that many times in my life. Come well. on. Total. Nor have I ever put the words tube top with pop tart before. <laughs> See, mm. It's a day of first. You know what? This whole podcast, people are going to say, I remember where I was <laughs> when Tim right. made meatloaf, right. when Kelly said tube top pop tart. It was a whole, it was a really impactful episode. I think yeah. what we've discovered. Really changing yeah, the world Christ, over we're here. we're back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, I'm going to say this and I'm going to say it to um, all the listeners have who have not yet abandoned us. Um, we need to get on a regular schedule, right? Like I'm not scolding you. I think I'm I'm appealing to your your good nature and your your uh-huh. love of the craft. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. It is yeah, a yeah. good movie. I, never I saw will it. Say. I know. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I knew. I wasn't even going to ask you if you'd no. seen the craft. Oh, Kelly. Michelle got really mad at me the other that. day. What the hell were we talking about? It was a movie that I know I should have seen. Um, and I just had my breakfast wine and my breakfast poached egg. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but they all blend together when you're having wine oh and eggs God, every like, morning. Like where's you can't my dinner what steak and the was. rest of my bottle of wine? For Christ's sake, it's four <laughs> o'clock. Um, Mama needs a lot. I've been really off for a few days, like like mentally. Mm -hmm. um, I I sure. appreciated that little break that we had over the holidays. And now yeah, we're back in it. That was required. Um, and like yeah. the world's still, for a host of reasons, not making a lot of sense to me right now. And sure, so. Yeah. Michelle and I were talking about something, some movie that I know I should have seen or I thought I saw it. And then I started telling her about the movie and she had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> and then like, 10 seconds later, I opened up the garage door with my phone and then mm -hmm. got mad because, well, I was upset because Michelle didn't walk through the garage door. I thought she asked me to open up the garage door. We were in the driveway. <laughs> And she was walking through okay. the front door. What she asked me was, can you do me a favor and grab that last grocery bag out of the back of the car? <laughs> and what you Open heard. Open the garage door. <laughs> Open, Open the, the garage, garage door. door. Sure. I mean, <laughs> literally no nothing. word overlap. And she's walking through the front door. And I'm like, where are you going? I opened up the garage door. She said, yeah, I have no idea why you're doing that. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. And I'm still right. not sure why. <laughs> Joyce? Joyce, Joyce, is that you? Joyce. Joyce. She's hacked my phone. Yeah. So that's, now. that's what my brain has been doing. So, Derek, I'm going to revisit your question. I probably said tube top pop tart. <laughs> I'm pretty confident. Yeah, probably. that's either way. Either way, yeah. Kelly, we got we got there. Eventually. Yeah, I'm so glad that you remembered that because I was I was thinking that we got back on mic and we it was like the impetus was the pop tart thing, and I'm like we probably won't even talk about the pop tart <laughs> thing. I really on the way home tonight, I was like I bet we don't even to get be to honest. It. So, it's really the only thing that I think about these days. <laughs> mm. I'm just trying to make sense of it all. Uh, the, I get that. The title of this episode should just be Kelanova wins. Mm. Uh, wins the Pop Tart Bowl. They? Champagne yeah. Kelanova. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pinot Grigio <laughs> Kelanova. <laughs> <laughs> Pinot Grigio Kelanova in the sky. That in is, the sky. That is, <laughs> there we go. Um, I don't have anything else to talk about. Really? Well, we have one definite thing we need to get to. <gasps> okay. Mm -hmm. And that's Comer Corner. Right. Oh my uh, gosh, you're absolutely right. I just want to say, John Comer, unlike us, is a regimented, reliable internet presence because there is no shortage of John Comer jokes on Facebook each every and every day. day. And I thank him for it and I appreciate it endlessly and i hope he knows what a difference mm -hmm. he makes in my life every single day when i get jokes like why don't you want to get caught by a gang of mimes well it's because they will do unspeakable things to you <laughs> that's right thank you john appreciate you thank um, you john <laughs> excellent fresh comer i accidentally <laughs> rubbed ketchup in my eyes now i have hindsight Hey, <laughs> nothing but brands here yeah. on the Kelly yeah. on the Better Coffee podcast today. Love that. Love that. Tim, you got you got something? I found out I'm terrified of elevators. So I'm taking steps to avoid them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and your mom oh, had a birthday. So good. Yeah, my mom's, birthday, my mom's glad. birthday on on Saturday. Uh nice, happy nice. birthday, glad. Yeah, she was uh my mom does that thing that I think a lot of moms do, which is like she she outwardly doesn't care about her birthday, but she inwardly does care about she her birthday at, yeah. because she has every right to. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, as I mentioned to her, she is she, of course, is on Facebook. She's on all the socials, but she is one of the like four birthdays that I know, including my own. Uh, and so she did mention something. Like, I'm sure I don't. It's a, it's a very mom thing. I'm sure I don't need to remind you what tomorrow is when we were talking about oh. something else altogether. We were trying to make plans to like connect over the weekend or whatever. And she's like, I'm, sure. I'm sure I don't need to tell you. And I said, No, mom, you don't. You did, mm -hmm. but you don't. It's the podcast. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, right. Isn't Pop Tarts cool tomorrow? Yeah. You, you didn't have to tell me about that. I know all about it. Do that. Those folks at Kelanova, they're tearing it up. Um, Literally. But yes, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Glenn. <laughs> The pop tart being torn up. Um, happy birthday, mom! Happy Love birthday, you. glad. Love you so much. Happy birthday, glad. Yeah, I'm sure. I hope John baked her a cake because if we've not talked about it before, John Comer is also the cake yes. king of North Carolina, 
And yeah. so I'm hoping that he she got a nice cake. They did play a gig. They played a gig on that her night. Birthday. On her birthday. On her birthday proper. On I her love birthday. That. Nice. Yeah, I love that. So I'm sure that many people came out to see them. Um, check out my mom's band Eccentrics wherever you get your internet posted music from. Or if you're in North Carolina, go see them at a show. <laughs> <laughs> They're going on their last cruise. They have been doing a lot of uh, a lot of ocean cruising over the Ooh. course of the last year. Um as they deserve to do, my mother and my stepfather Dave. They've done a great, they, like a bunch of amazing trips. Shared a bunch of stories. They actually got burnt out on cruising. That is how much they have cruised, and they canceled a whole bunch of cruises. Like burnt while they were out in yeah. the sun. <laughs> yes, exactly. They got a lot of sunburns and do not <laughs> want to cruise anymore as a result of it. Yes, um, but they're going on their very last John, cruise. Of John the- got me in the mood for that. I, I don't. <laughs> that was a very John. Sorry, thing I lost today. myself for a minute. <laughs> But yeah, so they're going, they're leaving on Friday for that. And then they'll be done cruising for a while. Um, but yeah, then they'll have shows. So check them out as they're more terrestrial based going forward <laughs> into the new year. Nice. Uh, you Jeff, what's your cat out. doing so, behind you? Um, losing his goddamn okay. mind, uh, yep. which is what he normally does. We move this cat tree down here. Again, not a video podcast, but take my cat word for tree. it. This cat tree over mm-hmm. my shoulder. Uh, cat tree. Um, and he's going bonkers. There's probably some catnip oh, up there okay. that he is now consuming. So mm-hmm. he's just going to be absolutely out of his mind for the next and half an hour or so. This is the cat who will sit down well, there's there. There's a cat here, and there may be another. There may be another cat okay. down here, possibly. Right. But his sister. Like this is the cat that will sit at the bottom of the stairs at midnight and just yowl like. Joyce? There is some sort of yeah, like a Joyce, <laughs> a very Joyce mm-hmm. existence is how Hello. he lives. Um, oh, yeah. you're trying to sleep, you're trying to sleep up there. I, I would like a little bit of the water, some treats. <laughs> Y'all got any sardines? I could put I, that I was down on a cat tree and I fell off it. And I tell you what, <laughs> landed on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Only eight lives left, but I'm going to haunt you through every single one of them. Ain't going to get rid of me yet, and when you do, I'm be back anyway, you bitches. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. The ballad of Joyce the Cat has been brought to you by the Bitter Cops Podcast. So far off the rails, I can't see yeah. them anymore. <laughs> have well, them. I think just about yep. did it everybody i think we got mm-hmm. here uh you got people to thank we got people to thank kelly oh. <laughs> 2024 yeah. no you more know who you are we appreciate I, you and all that you've done i can say that the the polarity foundation yes, is always yes, appreciated I thank the polarity oh. foundation who makes this podcast possible um i want to thank joyce yeah. Yes. Um, thank you, Joyce. thank you, Joyce. Thanks for, thanks um, we would like us. to uh, apologize for all the ridicule. <laughs> um, please don't take that out on our friend Kelly. She's done nothing to harm I, you. I um, think I have, though. <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry about whatever tragedy befell you in her home prior to her getting there. Um, um, I want to thank apologies. Tim and Tanya, and mm-hmm. I can't remember anything else right now. Ron, we want to thank Ron at Ron's yeah. Automotive yeah, for getting into it for How quite do you some think time Ron now. Is? Yeah, what's Ron? What's, what do you think Ron's resolution was for 2024? I think much like my dry January, it started out as he was not going to get into all that. And then Jan's second hit, that garage door slid open, and he was all the yep. way in it. Yep. Up to that dirty t-shirt phone. Hashtag pray for Ron. Hashtag prayers for Ron. Hey, thank you too for being you guys uh, and for getting back on this mic. I really appreciate it. Yeah. So thanks for we- sitting. <laughs> let's resolve to actually do a podcast in 2024 what do you say cool. like regular okay all right all right everybody uh, thanks very much for listening um and to the spirits that haunt my home um please let me rest <laughs> <laughs> stay fresh cheese bags peace